update. We have the root back home. It is a 32 or 33 hour route back home. Non-stop. Look at that. I don't even know what those things are. Those are like construction on the road. Every little dot. We're gonna stop along the way. We're gonna make it, you know, just stop for like food and stuff, but that's it. We are non-stop driving 33 hours back home. It begins now. Are you pumped? Dude, I've been pumped. I already took some mad cocaine just to get this road trip started. I'm right now. We all had to. <laughs> we all had to. Yes, we did. Let me tell you how happy I am that this is the last time I'm ever packing this stupid small car. I'm so sick of this car. I'm so sick of packing this thing for 75 days in and out every single night. Alright guys, I'm going to keep you updated on this road trip. It is hour one now. Uh, morale is as high as it's ever going to get right now. It's not, it's not actually it's starting to rain right now, but morale is high. Uh, when we come, when I come back to you in a couple hours, I'll let you know how I feel. We just stopped here at Subway for our first stop for the meal. And it's also about, uh, it's about noon on a Sunday. So by the time we get in, it should be probably about midnight on a Monday. We'll see. Ah! Who knew Montana was so long? We've been driving in Montana this whole time and we're still here. We had to come and stop because there was a huge field of sunflowers. And this is where we're getting another drone shot, but man, Montana, there's like nothing here. Look at this. This is literally what we've been driving through this whole time. Empty fields. track of time because I've been sleeping <laughs> I've been sleeping this whole time I'm up next to drive actually my shift is from uh, like 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. and then my next one is at uh, I think it's 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. tomorrow but we had to stop here at the gas station here to get some shots you know the typical but man this trip is it's only been like uh, I don't even know how many hours like eight hours maybe we still have 20 24 ish hours 25 hours left on this trip and it's, it's rough, you know, I've never done a trip this long. How much driving have you done? I've done three hours so far. How was it? Well, three hours went by. Think about it. I only drove three hours, right? And now I just have to think about it in my head that I only have to drive th three more hours, two more times. So I only have to drive two more times now, and I'm back home. It's not that bad. It's a good way to think about it. It's been a long job, but you think it's been really good throughout the drive. <laughs> That's like your fifth Rose Krispie treat. Yeah, just a there. It's now like 11 p.m. I've been driving for like two hours. Still have another hour to go. But uh, after that, I get to sleep. We have splattered so many bugs on this car that I can't even see out the windshield. <sighs> Isn't that right, John? Oh, uh, yeah. Man, look at that. I have to scrape off these bugs. So with my first shift being the night shift, I'm drinking some caffeine to stay awake. Uh, I gotta drive until about 12 or 1 p.m. It, or 1 a.m. It's hard to tell because the time zones we keep going through, it keeps changing, so we keep going an hour in advance. And all, all of our phones and the times are all messed up, so we can't really, we can't really tell exactly what time it is right now. But uh, I'm drinking this, I'm staying awake. We gotta continue on. Do you know how tough it is trying to sleep in one of those things? It is ridiculously tough. Like incredibly tough. The whole night I've been trying to sleep. It's now the next morning. It's about 6 a.m. Uh, the sun is coming up, it's so beautiful. But I have not slept like at all. I'm so tired. I think it's part of the caffeine that was from the drink last night. But I have just not slept, I mean, I slept like here and there for like five minutes at a time, but I am so tired. We stopped at a rest stop here, and uh, we're getting some amazing views. <laughs> Die too. <laughs> <laughs>
because of what we do as like for YouTube videos, we stay up so late, we haven't actually seen a sunrise in probably over 80 days. We have not seen one at all on this trip, I doubt. And uh, before that, you know, it's been a long time. So it's really nice actually seeing the sunrise here. I, I really like sunrises and sometimes even better than uh, sunset. It's now 10.30 in the morning. Josh has just finished his shift. I have to take over go from 10.30 to 1.30. I'm so tired. Oh my god, I'm so tired. But, but at least now I have tons of energy. That's not an ad, but I wish it was an ad. <laughs> Hour 30 something, something like that. We, uh, we had to come here to Walmart to get some oil changed because we are way over on the oil change and we're like seven hours away from home. So we figured we'd better do it now before the car blows up. Hey right, guys, we finally made it back to my house after 37 hours. It is now 3.30 in the morning. The whole crew is here. I'm the first stop off in Connecticut. They have to drive off to their houses, you know. It's only like two or three hours for them, really. It's gonna suck for them. They have another, you know, they got a little bit more of a drive. But I'm here first in Connecticut, and I'm saying goodbye to the exploring crew. At least for a few days. I think I'm gonna see them again. My birthday is in like five days. Steve's birthday is right after that, so I think we're gonna see each other again. <laughs> but this is the end of the road trip, and it's sad. It's very sad. And, uh, you know, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Toodaloo. Alright, see ya. Toodaloo, man. Toodaloo. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys later.